patient was in bad shape, and I'm not surprised that Matt didn't wait for the x-rays to open him up. Did you ever find out why the nurse, Epiphany Johnson, failed to call the OR and tell Dr. Hunter to delay she the surgery? She failed to call the OR. She called two or three times, but nobody answered. No one heard the phone? Nope. The phones don't ring in the OR. It's not really a good idea to start up a surgeon in the middle of a delicate procedure. There's a light that goes off that flashes when somebody's trying to call. Now, I don't know why they didn't see the light. You know, maybe it's broken. You know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe it comes down to a single light in OR2 that's broken. Now, why don't you go back and tell the families of all the people that died that it comes down to a single light in OR2 that's broken? I'm so sure that she has postpartum. Dr. Nick Brown, please report sure. to admissions. She, she's just showing signs that are familiar to me. She's irritable. She's defensive. And she won't pick up the baby. Okay, well, no offense, but do you think that could be a reaction to you? You know, I only went over there to invite her to the benefit because Sonny asked me to. You're right, Rob and I don't always get along. But her behavior was setting off alarm bells. Robin loves Emma. You know, she's a terrific mother. Okay, I'm not a shrink, all right? I'm just a woman who had postpartum herself. And it's a very lonely place to be. And if Robin has it, it's not just gonna go away. She needs help. Thank you for sharing your concerns, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Robin's a perfectionist. If she even has a hair out of place, it drives her crazy. She's going to try and cover this up. You know that. If Robin were suffering from postpartum, what can I do to help her? Talk to a professional. Go to Laney or Kelly Lane. I can't do that. Those are her friends and colleagues. Dr. No, I don't know what to tell you. Well, can you share some experiences? When I first saw Michael lying in that incubator, I couldn't touch him. I was just afraid, and I had to take off, you know? I had to get away. So I went to Jason, and I told him that I was going to leave town, and I asked him to take care of Michael. And he did. And then when I came back, I mean, Jason was wonderful. He was kind. He was loving. He did such a great job with Michael. And he let me get over my postpartum on my own. So you just kind of went away on its own then? Yes and no. Not long after I came back, Michael was kidnapped, and I shot his kidnapper in open court. Because of postpartum? That's what the lawyer said. The point is, you don't fool around with this. You need to get professional advice. You can't help Robin until you understand what she's going through. lately. I was caught up in this fantasy that being a mother was going to come naturally to me, which which is silly because, you know, it's, it's difficult for everyone, right? I mean, there's, there's a lot to learn. But I'm a doctor, and so I'm going to be able to fix it. I'm going to be able to deal with it clinically. I don't know why it's been so hard. And I don't know why it's so obvious to everyone, including your dad, that I have no idea what I'm doing. But I promise you, Mommy really loves you. Mommy loves you so much, but... I just want to be able to show you how. Have you been crying? I really 
<sighs> well, I wish I could sleep as soundly as Emma does. <laughs> I wish she'd do it for more than four hours at a time. Well, she's not like a light right now. Thank you. Uh -huh. You know, I love my baby cousin, but she's she's just so teeny. Maybe I shouldn't hold her anymore. It makes me very nervous. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Probably not for you, because you're a mom, but me, I don't know if this whole child thing really is for me. All that selfless nurturing and the spit up alone would put me in a straight jacket. You don't see any spots, do you? No, I don't see any. Next time I'll give you a burp cloth, though. That's what I'm saying. You have a child and you start owning things like burp cloths? How frightening. No offense. I just don't think I would be able to be stuck here with a baby all day long, you know, not really knowing what they want, because, of course, they can't tell you, and then I would be scared that I'm not exactly doing it right. It's like the person that you are turns into this little pooping extension of yourself and you spend all your time just being a servant to it? I, I don't know. Should we talk about why you were crying? Hey, sweetheart. Hey, Maxie. Uh, I just had a free hour, so I thought I'd come by and check out. Wow. Perfect timing. Carly. Hey, Maxie, how are you? Is uh, Emma in a room? Yeah, she's sleeping, so just don't wake her up, okay? Okay. Do you have to get back right away? Uh, not right away. Just with the blizzard, I wanted to make sure that the windows and the electrical and everything was okay here, heating and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. The, the sitter will be with Emma tonight. What sitter? The sitter. The babysitter, Judy. She's going to stay with Emma while I go to Michael's benefit tonight. Well, I just didn't think you'd want to leave Emma home alone tonight. Oh, so just because I have a baby, I'm never allowed to leave the house? No, no, I'm not saying that. It's just with, you know, the storm coming and everything in the hospitals. It's just a few town. hours. I don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> I think she's having a rough day. Yeah, did she seem a little on edge when you, when you got here? Maybe a little, but I'll talk to her. me nuts when he micromanages me like that. But he is overprotective. We'll get Mac. <laughs> Good point. Besides, when guys don't know what to do, they hover. It's primal or something. It's like they're guarding their cave. Well, I don't mind if he hovers over Emma, but when he does it with me, it just... it's annoying. I think it's sweet. You think it's sweet? Yes. Patrick is this former hound dog who morphed into a loving, devoted, true blue husband and father. Who would not want a guy like that? True. Besides, he wants to be totally involved with raising Emma. I think that's great. Can you imagine how overwhelming it would be doing it by yourself? That's scary. So I'm going to get back to the hospital. Uh, what time is Judy coming? Uh, around 6, I think. Okay, good. You going to hang out until she gets here? So, Maxie has to stay and babysit me until the actual babysitter gets here? I didn't like that, Robin. That's what it sounded like. 